Okay. So our next topic is a uh, sample space and events, right? Okay, so what is sample space? Sample space is the set of all possible outcome of a statistical experiment. So if we have any exper statistical experiment, uh, and then all the dalam experiment is about, there is an element uh, ataupun member in an experiment so the sample space adalah all the possible outcome so more all the uh, element dalam uh, that experiment dipanggil sample space okay why we we need to know what is sample space and after this event okay uh, it is because we need to uh, we need to determine the sample space and event first uh, before we proceed dengan probability nanti. Okay, and then in this topic also, you need to know how to draw the Venn diagram and also the tree diagram. Alright, so example, example of the sample space. Let's say we have an experiment of, uh, consider the experiment of tossing a die. Kita lambung dadu. If we are interested in the number that shows on the top face so the possible outcome will be the sample space so the possible outcome uh, when we are tossing a die will be okay the possible outcome will be number one number two number three four and five so all of this number will be our sample space okay uh, another example contohnya our experiment take an examination so, dia punya outcome, it may be pass or fail. So, kita punya sample space, ini notation for sample space is as. Okay, so the outcome yang you kena tulis dalam dia punya bracket will be the outcome, pass or fail. Another um, experiment, uh, for example, we want to select a student in a class. So, the outcome may be male or female. So this is the way how you uh, write down the sample space of the outcome of male and female. Okay, another example when you when we toss a coin twice, dua kali eh, toss a coin twice. So kalau uh, we toss a coin once, kalau we toss a coin once, the outcome may be head or tail. So this is the sample space. But if we toss a coin twice, dua kali, the punya outcome will be maybe H yang pertama when we toss uh, once, the second time, okay, when the second time toss, maybe we, we will have another H. So we will be HH, H, H, H T, T, H and T, T. So this is the way how you uh, write down the sample space of the experiment when we toss a coin twice. Okay, itu dia punya sample space. So, kalau nak tahu bilangan sample space, you just kira guys, kalau kat sini, dia punya, this is the sample space, the bilangan number of the sample space will be, number of outcome in sample space will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, number of outcome in this sample space is 2. Okay. Let's say another example. An experiment consists of flipping a coin and then flipping it a second time if hit occur. Okay, first of all, at first, kita flip a coin. So, um, kalau dapat hit, kita akan flip lagi sekali the coin. Kalau dapat hit, if a tail occur, kalau dapat tail uh, on the first flip, then a die is toss one. So, kita akan ambil dadu untuk toss one. Okay. So, macam mana dia punya sample space it will be. Okay. Ini dia punya sample space. So, kalau lagi senang nak tengok dia punya uh, apa ni lagi, lagi senang you nak uh, tulis all the sample space, you can draw the three diagram. So, at first study, kita flip a coin. Kalau dapat head, kita akan flip lagi sekali a coin. Kalau dapat tail, kita akan flip, uh, toss a die. So the outcome will be hash hash, 
HD, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. All of this will be the sample point. So how many altogether? The outcome in the sample space will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Will be 8 outcome in a sample space. Another example. Contohnya, suppose that three items are selected at random from a manufacturing processes. Okay. Each item is inspected and classified as defective or non-defective. So, how to list down the uh, all the sample space. But dia tadi dia kata nak uh, three items selected at random. Okay, each item ada defective sama ada defective or non-defective. So, this is the sample space. How we uh, how to get that sample space? We can draw the tree diagram. Okay, first item, sama ada defective or non-defective. Kita nak select three item kan? Three item, so kena select tiga kali. At the second time, uh, the possibility untuk dapatkan sama ada defective and non-defective. Bila non-defective pun akan dapat defective and non-defective. So at the first, this part, this, this sample point, DDD maksudnya at the first, first, uh, first item kita ambil, defective. Second item pun defective, third item pun defective. Lagi possibility, maybe kita ambil yang first item defective, second item defective, third item non-defective. Maybe juga uh, dia punya possibility untuk kita ambil first item defective, second item non-defective, but third item is defective. So this is the way how you uh, draw the tree diagram to get the sample point for the sample spaces. Okay, so it depends. Kalau you boleh imagine how you select all the items. Okay, kali uh, kali pertama berapa, kali kedua, kali ketiga. So you no need for you to draw the tree diagram. But uh, if you cannot imagine, biasanya kalau Setakat dua boleh lagi lah you nak imagine. Uh, ketiga kali keempat tu maybe you you should draw the um, tree diagram untuk mengelakkan you missing uh, any part of the item. Okay so that is the sample space. What is event? Event adalah subset of the sample space. Okay, event adalah subset of the sample space. From sample space tadi, we have all the possibility of the outcome that comes from any experiment. So, event adalah subset of the sample space. For example, okay. For example, let's say uh, we have the experiment and the sample space will be book, cell phone, MP3, paper, stationery and laptop. Okay, A adalah event which is the subset of the sample space which is only book, stationery, laptop and paper. Ini adalah event, subset of the population, uh, subset of the sample space. Okay, so another example contoh dekat sini. So dekat sini kita tengok, when we tossing a die, we might let A be the event. Okay, in tossing, when we toss a die, the punya sample space will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we might let A be the event. Okay, event notation untuk uh, event, it can be A, B, tak kisahlah. Uh, cuma kita jangan letak S sebab S ni akan tertukar dengan uh, sample space. Okay, event A adalah uh, event that and even number occurs. So, kalau even number adalah maybe number 2, number 4 and number 6. So, here will be the event A. Okay, ini notation how how you uh, write down the, the, the event. Event A will be the even number. So, it should be 2, 4 and 6. So, event B pula dia kata the event that a number greater than 3 shows. Number greater than 3. So, event B will be 4. Number 4, 5 and 6. Okay, ini adalah contoh uh, sample space dan event. Okay, the intersection pula adalah two event 
A, uh, intersection of two event A and B denoted by the symbol A intersect B. Okay, intersection ni maksudnya dia overlap antara event A dan event B. Contoh yang terdekatlah saya tunjukkan sini tadi. Event A, 2, 4, 6. Event B, 4, 5, 6. So, what is the intersection between A and B? So, notation untuk A uh, intersect B will be, kalau you tengok yang mana yang overlap, number berapa yang overlap, number 4 and number 6. So, we can write it as so it will be okay so uh, A intersect B ni juga adalah event lah event of A intersect B will be you should tulis dalam bracket juga number 4 and number 6 we have two uh, we have two intersection of event A and event B which is 4 and 6. Kalau nak tahu bilangan number of intersection, number of event ataupun number of outcome for event A intersect B adalah 2. Number of uh, number of outcome will be 2. The outcome will be 4 and 6. That is the intersection. Okay, how about the mutually exclusive? Okay, mutually exclusive ataupun uh, the other name is disjoint uh, notationnya adalah uh, null set null set mutually exclusive means that a and b have no element in common a and b have no element in common tak ada intersect between a and b so itu dipanggil mutually exclusive ataupun disjoint dia punya notation uh, uh, notationnya adalah A intersect B equal to null set sebab tiada intersection between A and B. Okay. Alright. Next adalah union. The union of the two event A and B denoted by the symbol A union B is the event that containing all the element that belong to A or B or both. So maksudnya kalau event union ni um, outcome dalam all the outcome in in event A dan event B. Masukkan semua sekali outcome dalam event A dan event B. Contohnya kat sini, let A. A, uh, event A, A, B, C. Event B, B, C, D, E. Okay. So kat sini ada overlap. B dengan B kan? C dengan C ada juga. So dia kata then A union B adalah all together. Tambahkan semua sekali outcome dalam event A dan event B. So it will be A, B, C, D, E. Kalau A intersect B, A intersect B adalah uh, outcome of B dan C. A intersect B, B dan C, but A union B adalah all the outcome in A dan B. Okay. So, dia punya biasa kan kalau union ni, kalau uh, kalau uh, in sentence, kalau ada perkataan or, itu adalah union. Kalau ada perkataan in, uh, itu adalah intersection. And then actually you should know how to draw the Venn diagram to to represent the to represent the event dan juga sample space. Let's see here. Okay, ini contohnya. Ini adalah illustration of the intersection between the two events. So ini adalah intersectionnya. Okay, ini adalah intersection. Contohnya tadi. Kita punya sample space adalah uh, 1 until 6. Let's say event A. Let's say event A adalah. Uh, okay, let's say event A. Number 1. Number 2. Number 3. Number 4. And event S adalah. 
Ah, sorry, N even B adalah number 3, 4, 5, and 6. Something like that. Okay. So, the sample space adalah 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Event A adalah 1, 2, 3, 4. Event B adalah 3, 4, 5, 6. And intersection between outcome of event A intersect B adalah 3, 4. How about uh, union? Kalau union pula macam mana? Okay, kalau union. Ini kan union denoted by this A union B All the event, all the element That belong to A and B or both Kalau kat sini tadi, contoh saya buat tadi Kalau kita nak cari A union B It will be all Contoh lah Contoh kat sini saya K5 okay. okay, so Sample space kat sini tak cukup lagi kan Sebab uh, let's say kita punya eksperimen tadi adalah Toss a Toss a die Okay we toss a die So number 5 maybe We're direct kat luar contoh Okay So A intersect B Okay so event A Saya okay, buat salah satu Event A adalah Number 1 2 3 and 4 Okay, event B adalah Sorry, tak cantik sikit sebab saya guna mouse Later, I akan beli Number 3 Number 4 And number 6 Okay, ini event B 3, 4, 6 A intersect B adalah okay, A intersect B adalah number 3 and 4 okay, A union B sorry A union B adalah 1 2 3 4 and Sample space adalah semua sekali. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But A union B adalah all the element in A and B. Oh, sorry, in A or B or both. Okay, semua sekali. A and B or both. Okay, semua sekali. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 without 5. Okay, itu adalah illustration macam mana untuk you Uh, dapatkan intersection dan union of and of two event ok yang ni illustration untuk mencuri eksklusif tadi there is no intersection between uh, event A dan event B so maksudnya ada uh, denotation now set so tak ada intersection eh, between A and B this is illustration how you can you draw the Venn diagram ok in union ok how about the complement Complement maksudnya, okay, kalau A complements means that the element there is not in A. A complement, notasinya A prime ataupun A bar. Okay, so biasa kita akan gunakan A prime lah. So, A prime, this is A. A prime maksudnya element that is not in A. Yang berada di luar A. Let's say, this example tadi. So, A complement will be, okay, kita tengok event A adalah, event A adalah 1, 2, 3, 4. So, A complement adalah element that is not in A, which is element of 5 and 6. Okay, B complement pula adalah element that is not in B, which is 1. 2 and 5 Okay How about Nak cari A A complement Intersect B What do you think? A complement intersect B 
A complement maksudnya di luar uh, the element that is not in A, luar daripada A. So you tutup A ni. That is intersect dengan B. So uh, apa ni selain dari A adalah 5 and 6. Tapi dia nak intersect dengan B. So the element will be will be number 6. Okay. So how about uh, B complement intersect A. B complement intersect A selain dari B intersect dengan A which is 1 and 2. Okay. How about A complement intersect B complement? A complement selain daripada A intersect dengan selain daripada B. So it is number 5. Selain dari A intersect dengan selain dari B. So the answer will be 5. Okay. Alright. So let's see. Apa je lemia textbook? Okay, this is when we have three event. A, event A, event B dan event C. So A union C maksudnya all the element in A and C. So semua sekali element in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7. B complement intersect A selain dari B intersect dengan A selain daripada B intersect dengan A so it will be 4 and 7 intersection of A intersect B intersect C A intersect dengan B intersect dengan C so element in 1 ok how about A union B intersect C complement A union B all the element in A and B ok so this part intersect dengan C complement tutup C intersect dengan C complement so it will be 2, 6 and 7 ok alright so ini contoh um, the intersection between A and B. B berada dalam A. So nanti you can read the textbook secara details. Okay. 